Today we're going to be exploring the top video game bosses that absolutely clapped their cheeks. Some of these bosses have been around since way before you were even a sperm cell. Some of these bosses actually made some salty ass tears run down your cheek. And the only real reason why you didn't smash the controllers after every time you died is because your broke ass couldn't afford a brand new controller. As is the case with these lists, this is just my personal humble opinion. Let me know in the comment section. Let your your opinion be heard go ahead and let me know what your top five most difficult video game bosses of all time are and you guys can also tell me why i am wrong because well people love doing that but anyways let's jump straight into it with number five let's start off the list right we're going to start off with a resident evil villain we're looking at nemesis and this particular entry of the resident evil franchise your jill valentine and all you're really trying to do is escape an infected city there are some puzzles along along the way nothing over the top but the puzzles are good enough to keep even the most seasoned veterans entertained for a bit this big giant lurching homunculus chases you throughout the game and as is the case with most resident evil games you can basically knock him out at the beginning and all the way throughout you can actually finish him off at the end of the game or you use some sort of prototype railgun and you finally put the poor ugly bastard out of his misery depending on what choices you make throughout the game the ending will be slightly different but for the most part you will escape in a helicopter and you will wait witness as raccoon city basically gets demolished with missiles we got to experience all this with updated graphics recently with the latest resident evil re-release and even though all of these big giant tyrants are very difficult to bring down i chose this one specifically because of how menacing the appearance was and how difficult the video game made it not only to finally take him down at the very end of the video game but also to evade him all the way throughout for number four we have a two for one deal we have ornstein and smo ornstein alone was actually a former dragon slayer and as if he alone wasn't enough of a foe smo is actually referred to as an executioner they were both big time bosses for the original dark souls way back in 2011 some viewers were probably still getting their asses wiped by their mothers when these two dudes were wrecking lives as is the case with any big giant difficult boss timing is extremely important as well as keeping an eye on your stamina gauge you definitely don't want to be stuck in a position where you're completely out of stamina you have to somehow find a way to separate them use the pillars within the structure to shield you while you try to regain your health i know this isn't a double entendre but there's nothing more satisfying than seeing those two a-holes on their knees collapsing to their death at the third spot we probably have the most fascinating character in the entire list we have the orphan of Kos. this is by far the character with the most depth there's a lot of darkness surrounding this particular boss his screams will make even the manliest of men want to crawl up back up their mother's uterus as i mentioned his kind of backstory is very dark he's kind of like an unborn child almost his screams are the thing of nightmares his attacks are absolutely relentless and as is the case with most of these really difficult hardcore games like bloodborne you have to be incredibly patient and you have to know how to conserve your stamina because that will be one of the bigger features to you actually defeating this boss and before you start rubbing your nipples in happiness don't forget that this particular boss has two phases watch out for that second phase because it has been known to end gaming career as a whole for the second spot on the list we're actually going to be looking at what is considered to be one of the more difficult games of all time we're going to be looking at neo which was released in february of 2017 and what is arguably one of the most difficult bosses in that particular game we're going to be talking date masamuni this is another one of those bosses that you really have to get a feel for and get the timing correct to be able to defeat him not to mention there are a number of different attacks that he can make that are unblockable so be prepared to run around the room like a little bitch there is absolutely nothing wrong with it towards the end of the battle it almost seems like this boss actually takes a viagra because he just comes at you full force and you definitely have to be a lot smarter with your parry and your attacks another difficult aspect about this particular boss is towards the end once his blades actually turn blue he actually throws kind of like long range slashes at you kind of like projectiles so his range can be to an extent almost unlimited all of the other spots on this particular list could have been 
number one but i decided to save this for a particular special type of heartache we're talking about millennia from elden ring this particular boss is difficult for a plethora of different reasons but she does have some of the fastest attacks some of the quickest slashes she also has a very dangerous kick which cannot be parried her waterfowl attack dance is absolutely insane there are brief moments where you will question whether you want to actually defeat this boss or marry her and have her have your children and before you go stroking your tiny little chode once her health hits zero for the first time just be very well aware that there is a second phase and she does recover 80 percent of her health she is definitely one of the more ridiculously difficult and frustrating bosses out there and in this particular case i believe she is the most difficult of all time again this is my personal opinion my personal take my personal experience but let me know in the comment section if i'm wrong i probably am but there are so many different bosses so many different fantastic video games out there that i'm sure i missed quite a few so let me know in the comments section what particular boss you would have loved to see in this list i'm very much looking forward to reading your comments i'm very curious so go ahead and let us know what your top five most difficult video game bosses of all time are and as a side note i just really quickly wanted to take some time and let you guys know that i appreciate you guys sticking around we have actually hit 100 subscribers as of our previous video so as i mentioned thank you guys for all the support go ahead and hit the like button subscribe leave a comment all that stuff really helps thank you guys for tuning in i will see you guys in the next one stay safe out there